you are now at the Gate Lodge. That rather imposing structure, like the main house, was modeled after an English village. But the Gate Lodge was more than a secure entrance. It also served as a garage for scores of the Ford's cars. It also included three residences for staff members and their families. This structure represents the crucial role that the staff played here. This is a good place to turn around and look back over the property. Try to imagine the scene. Capable staff pruning shrubs, mowing lawns, unloading trucks, working in the gardens. Perhaps Edsel and Eleanor are having a dinner party tonight. There's a flurry of activity, and then the sounds of children. Both the four children and the children of the staff playing. An atmosphere, a certain feeling, pervades the grounds. Beauty, industry, hospitality, goodwill. This is exactly what Jensen and the Fords envisioned for this place. In a state humming with activity, where every person performed their duty, and peace reigned supreme. Arthur Fowser served as the Ford's chauffeur from 1923 to his death in 1954. He and his family lived in one of the residences at the Gate Lodge. Here's his son, Arthur Jr. Yes, we lived right there. That was home, that was our family home. The only house we ever lived in was the one next to the garage. It was attached to the garage, but it was on the end of the state towards St. Clair Shores. It was really a paradise. <laughs> we played in the far end of the Ford Estate on the west end of that driveway coming up. We stayed away from the main house, the Ford's home, but we had access to the area. We used to ride our bicycles through the paths and the roads. It was just a beautiful setting, beautiful place to live. 